I want to go back to the beginnings, if you don't mind. You, everybody knows you from Hollywood, but you, you're a long way from yes. Hollywood. You, you're from New Orleans. Good town, right? New Orleans, the 19th Ward, New Orleans. I was born in 1937 in Charity Hospital, but at that time, before Katrina, Charity Hospital was working. And, and this is the 30s, the segregation time. So if you were black, you were only in the east wing of the hospital. Because apparently white people thought they, they could catch blacks. So you, if you were black, you were not in any other wing. So I was born there in 1937. My mom says at 301 on a Monday morning. And I, uh, from the time I was born to the time I was like really 20, 21. Well, from the time I was born to the time I was 13, I spent my winters in a place called Morgan City, Louisiana. And I spent my summers in New Orleans. By the time I was 13, I was back in New Orleans for good. And I went to uh, Booker T and Delta University and graduated and went to New York when I was like 21, 22. You know, in me researching for this interview, I saw another interview of yours, and it was I, I learned something I never, ever known before. And, and if you don't want to talk about it, I'm fine. Did I hear you correct when you were interviewed and, and you said you were the product of rape? Your mother was raped at 16? When years old? I was in my 30s, my mother had never even mentioned that. I was talking to her about the family because, you know, Alex Haley had done Ruth and we were talking about how we loved that and everything. And I said, Mom, you know, we ought to do something like that. I ought to write something like that. And I said, tell me about the family, right? First, she told me um, that my grandmother, Gertrude, was born on an Indian reservation in Plaquemine Parish. So I said to her, Mom, I said, Mom, Matilda is an Indian. Now she said, no, Gary, she, she, she's an uh. inward just like us. I said, no. Uh. I said, no, <laughs> Mom, she was born the daughter of a redskin on the reservation. That means you are biologically and legally an Indian. You know what she said? Oh, you know, that's right. Uh. My mom, I never even thought of her mother, was born on a reservation, the daughter of a redskin Indian. She never thought of her that way. And I, too, had never thought of her that way because, you know, the black community has so many biologies. In New Orleans, there are white people, literally, biologically white, who are members of the black community. So you don't think she's just a Negro, right? So that's the one thing she said. Then I, she said, uh, I said something about me getting coming, how I'm going to say, well, Garrett, uh, let me tell you this. I was walking across Earhart Boulevard, the train tracks, and your father, Willie Morris, jumped out of the bushes, grabbed me, threw me down, and raped me. And she said, up until that time, I, mind you, my grandmother was born in a time when Church members did not do what they should have done, which is to tell their daughters and their sons the birth by the birth of the bees. So my mama thought until she was 15 years old that you go down to the docks of the Mississippi River and you buy a baby. So after that, she's getting pregnant, she's getting fat, and her cousins are telling her, you're pregnant. And she's saying she didn't know what that meant, right? So within nine months, I come out, and the story is not so good my, about my grandfather, whom I love to this day, but he was a Baptist minister who treated her very badly. He called her a whore, though so she told me she was raped. She didn't believe it. Why? Because there had been a young man whose name was Isaac Johnson who used to come and court my mom. So that's who my grandfather saw. So when she got pregnant and said, Willie Morris, my biological father, had raped her, he called her a liar and put her out of the house. 
Matter of fact, for the first six months of my life, I was not in my grandfather's house. I was with my aunt Tina. So my aunt Tina, you know, said, What's, what, are you, what are you talking about? And she took my mom, took her in. For six months, my mother with me was there. Then my grandmother, my grandfather's wife, had had enough. She goes to the house on Pine Street, gets me and my mom, and brings her back to the house on a, 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 a name of street. I just kept my head. Bring me back. And as she's coming to the house, my grandfather says to her, you can come in, but that whore can't. And my grandmother says to him, if she don't come in, I don't come in. That's when he relented. And the last thing he said after that was, remember your past. Because apparently, my grandfather was a hypocrite who in his past had made a lady pregnant. And I met the mm. results, but I have an aunt mm. whose name was Aunt Celestine. My Aunt Celestine was the result of him making a, a girl pregnant. So the fact that he even treated my mom the way he did, or called my grandmother, my grandmother Gertrude was saying to him, you're being a hypocrite. Remember your past. You know? So yeah, I'm the result of a rape, but I didn't find that until I was like in my 30s. I think my mom didn't want to talk about it, but finally she did. did have you ever met your biological father? Ooh, once or twice, and maybe by the time he died, in like 60, once or twice in 60 years, okay? He was basically absent from my life, okay? Um, basically, my grandfather, the one I just talked about, uh, raised me along with my grandmother until I was 13. My grandmother died when I was 10, and she was the most greatest example of unconditional love that has ever been in my life. My grandfather loved me too, but he was the one who pulled out the belt with the hell out of me <laughs> if I was bad, which I was quite a lot of time. So in talking about my grandfather, believe me, I owe him a lot. But on that particular thing, he was very hypocritical. Uh, but no, my grand, my real father was never really in my life. You know, and, and I had wanted to cuss him out by the time I was an adult, but he went to the Navy and when he came back, he was very mental. So I couldn't do that because by the time I come back, he was 100% on the mental side. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.